Okay, to start off for this new video, we're going to go over Blender because that's what's needed for making changes to models for Neverwinter Nights. Blender is here, blender.org. You read under features, go to downloads, you can download it. It's native to Linux. It's a free open source program. It's amazing. You also need Never Blender, which can be found on the wiki. And then there's a link here from the vault page to actually download it, but you can read all about it on here. Click on this link, it'll take you to the vault page. You can go down here and download the latest version. Once you have that, you can open up Blender. This is what it looks like when you first open it up. That's a light source. This is a camera, I really don't use them. It's a model, delete that. You go over here. Well, first you have to go to Preferences, and then you probably have to install, so look for wherever you save the Never Blender folder to. I already did it, so I'll show you. Once you've got it or found it, then you need to click it to checkmark it, and then go to Preferences and Save Preferences. Once that's done, you're good to go. So you can go over here and go to Import, Aurora.mdl. Every model for Neverwinter Nights has what they call a royal base, Aurora base. And what that is, is everything, the models, the textures, everything's linked to that. And that's what's, it, that basically all the information about that model saved to that. And then the engine reads that information from that Aurora base file. So that's what that is. So import, and we'll just go to a creature here I had already right there it is okay so here's the model basically you don't click on the the model itself you click on the aurora base and then you go to export you want to export the aurora.mdl file wherever you want to export to and hit export now you can do if you don't want any shaders you can do none you can do groups um, you can also export multiple models at the same time. If there's multiple models you are working on, you select it to selected. Um, there's a lot more to all this, but this is more focused toward how to get a model from Neverwinter Nights into Blender and how to get it exported out of Blender. And knowing that every model has to have a base, which is what is used uh, for the Aurora engine to read all the information about that model all right if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below hopefully this is helpful for some people moving forward and i'll see you at the next video